Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel as well by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube users all over the world. Leave your comments in the comments section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. The People's Democratic Party has suspended some chieftains of the party in AC, and Imo states over allegations of anti party activities. The party late Friday in a statement by its National Publicity Secretary, Debo Ologwagba announced the suspension of the party chieftains including Emilola Jennifer, Ajayi Samuel, Olayinka Olaliri, Akiri Lui, Oluyinka and John Fayoshi. Others are Ayeni Funsho and Aji Jola Oladimeji. Suspended from Enugu State is former governor Chimaro K. Namani and Chris Ogu from Imo State. Ologwagba stated that the suspensions were with effect from Friday, January 20, 2023. The statement reads in part, The National Working Committee, NWC, of the PDP has, after a very extensive review and consideration of the affairs of our party in the country, pursuant to the provisions of the PDP constitution, has amended in 2017, approved the suspension of Senator Chimaroke Namani, Enugu State, and Chris Ogu Imo State, with effect from today, Friday, January 20, 2023, over allegations of anti party activities. I want to mention that uh, it's been a while that people have been ruled carrying this rumor that even Fayoshi himself is on you know supporting uh Tinobu underground and is a member of PDP. So I'm not even surprised that his son is among those that have been suspended. In the same vein, the NWC has approved the suspension of the underlisted party members in AKC State also with effect from today, Friday, January 20, 2023, over allegations of anti-party activities. The suspended members in Ikiti State are Ayeni Funsho, Ikiti North, Aji Jola Oladimeji, Ikiti Central. Others are Emilola Jennifer, Ikiti South, Two, Ajayi Samuel, Ikiti North, Two. Olayinka James Olalewe, Ikiti Central, Akirele Oluyinka, Ikiti North 1, and Fayoshi Olua Jomilo Jujan, Ikiti Central 1. In a related development, the PDP has also dissolved the executive members of its Ikiti State chapter. The party's spokesperson who confirmed these also in a statement on Friday night stated the NWC also approved the appointment of Sadiq Obanoye as chief chairman of the state party's caretaker committee. He noted the National Working Committee, NWC, after careful deliberations and extensive consultations on behalf of the National Executive Committee, NEC, and post one to sections 29, Subsection 2B, 31, Subsection 2E of the Constitution of the PDP, as amended in 2017, has dissolved the PDP Ikiti State Executive Committee with immediate effect. In its place, the NWC, on behalf of NEC, has approved the appointment of Ikiti State Caretaker Committee to run the affairs of a party in the state for a period of three months, effective from today, Friday, January 20, 2023, and to function post one to section 24, subsection 2, 
of the PDP constitution as amended in 2017, the PDP advises all leaders, critical stakeholders and teaming members of our party across the country to remain united and focused on the mission of our party to rescue, rebuild, redirect our nation from misrule. I feel that the article's visit to AKT exposed a lot of crises and, you know, a lot of things that have been going on on the ground, which, you know, the PDP at the federal level did not know about, or probably they knew about it and did not see it as, you know, something that they should pay attention to urgently. So I feel that it, it took Atiku coming to AKT to really, you know, know a lot about what has been going on because according to news sources Atiku and his and his group pardon me not Atiku I mean Fayushi Fayushi and his group did not attend that rally that Atiku came to Ikiti for they they bo all boycotted the rally they did not attend it I feel they they did that on purpose just to show their displeasure because we have been hearing here and there that you know, there have been some crises on ground, started from when Fayushi imposed his own governorship candidates on the political party instead of, you know, instead of allowing Shegwoni, who, who was the, the stronger, you know, person who could have won that election easily for PDP, instead of allowing him, and Shegwoni was the people's choice, obviously, but, you know, he imposed his own candidates on the party and there was nothing the party could do about it. That was why Shegoni had to go to SDP. And it took, after Shegoni left PDP, you can imagine PDP came third in the election. SDP that had no name, that have never won any election in Ekiti, if not because, you know, APC is probably, was probably the ruling um, party at the time and they had a stronger uh the stronger power they had the money and everything sdp would, might have won the election after shegoni left pdp pdp just went zoom because nobody knew their candidates their candidates wasn't popular wasn't a strong opponent so shegoni became you know sdp became automatically became like the opposition party in Ekiti. And from there, I feel the crisis just grew on and on and on and on. Let me know what you all think in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.